In this video, I wanted to answer a question that's frequently asked by our customers, which is, are my house electrics too old? Or do I need my house electrics upgrading before I get my charge point installed? And hopefully by watching this video, we'll answer that question. Hello and welcome to Morzak EV, a channel dedicated to all things electric vehicles, electric vehicle charging and all related technologies. Hopefully you'll find this video useful, so if you do, please give us a cheeky thumbs up on that like button. Do you want to get notifications of videos coming up? please subscribe and hit the bell icon. It does help the channel and we really appreciate it. So I've used one particular install that we performed recently to highlight some of the problems with somebody's house installation and what we can do to install the EV charge point. So let's pause it there. Rewind and start from the beginning. One of the first issues we've spotted so there's no bonding on the gas pipe. We checked the water pipe and this was made of plastic so it doesn't require any equipotential bonding. But as per the regulations and for safety requirements, bonding is required on metal pipe work that goes from outside to the inside of the building. This includes the gas pipe. The next issue we spotted was that the house was on a loop supply. You can tell this by the fact that two cables are coming in at the bottom. If it only has one cable, that doesn't mean you're not on a loop supply. However, we're going to cover this in a separate video. And I'll put a link in the description once that video is uploaded. Another question I often get asked is do I need a smart meter? In this case, on this installation, there was a smart meter fitted already. However, it doesn't matter what kind of meter you have, whether it's an old-fashioned meter, an economy 7 meter, or any kind of smart meter, it's all fine. Finally, there are lots of different terms for this. Distribution board, consumer unit, fuse board. Different people use different terminology. However, this particular fuse board was very, very old. I'd say it was from the 1960s and still had the hand-wired fuses inside, which are accessed by taking the cover off. Not very safe by today's requirements and no RCD protection. Now obviously, we'd recommend that this was upgraded, but it doesn't prevent us from installing an EV charge point. However, we do need to take some safety measures. So firstly, we install bonding to the gas. This is done by putting a clamp on the metal pipe and running an earth cable into the consumer unit and to the earthing terminal. So just be aware that in this case, the bonding was very easy to do because the electricity supply was very near the gas meter and the water pipe didn't need bonding. However, under other circumstances, this can be more tricky. If we'd have had to run a cable from the water pipe this would have been quite messy and quite a long cable run from the back of the building, probably out into the garage, along the side of the garage wall and back into the house. So bonding is really critical in being assessed. It has to be in place before an EV charge point is installed because it's a real safety requirement. I'm not going to cover this now, but we may do a video on this in the future and there's plenty of other reading you could do on the internet to understand why bonding is so critical. To get the loop supply sorted, we have to contact the DNO and they will unloop your supply, usually for free. In this case, we sought permission from the DNO to connect before the supply was unlooped as there's a waiting list of a couple of months. And because of the low usage of the house and the house next door, we had a letter agreeing for us to fit the charge point before the supply was unlooped. However, 
This is quite unusual. Normally, we would expect to have to wait. Again, this is going to be covered in a separate video, and we'll leave a link here once we've done that. Then, we install our own little consumer unit which feeds the EV charge point. This is split off the main supply using what we call a Henley block or 100 amp terminal blocks. That's the black box you see here. The little consumer unit contains all the safety devices. It contains a pen fault detection unit. If you don't understand what one of those is, you can see our video on earth rods and pen fault detection units here. Type A RCD and the charge point has 6 milliamp DC protection. So this enables the customer to charge inside the garage or outside, which was that particular customer's preferred option. Obviously, on an installation like this, we would recommend that you have an EICR performed and get the house electrics assessed and upgraded where necessary. However, this isn't as simple as installing a new consumer unit because the whole house would need to be assessed and there may be some remedial works which are quite intrusive. So this needs to be thought about and done at the right time. Finally, as I said, it doesn't matter what kind of meter you have, we can install the charge point. However, if you do want to make use of off-peak tariffs, variable electric vehicle tariffs such as Octopus's Agile or Go tariffs or many other suppliers offer very similar tariffs then you do want to get a smart meter fitted. This can be done by applying for one of the electric vehicle tariffs or variable tariffs and going on the waiting list for your supplier. So all in all this was a lot less of a major job than the client first thought because of the age of the house electrics. Again, we will be putting on the certificate that the house electrics need to be assessed and upgraded because they don't conform to the latest specifications. However, they are able to get their charge point installed and start using their electric vehicle without thousands of pounds of remedial work being done. So, I hope you enjoyed the video. Hopefully it was useful. Let us know what you think in the comments. Check us out on our social media platforms. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the bell icon. And in the meantime, thanks for watching.